Hi, this is Shady and I am having a blast here in Japan against Japanese judokas. So I visited this dojo uh, recently um, and it's all filled with a lot of, you know, ex high level competitors, all Japan or, you know, the Tokyo area competitors or the Kansai area competitors. So one of the top uh, in the past and they still got it. A lot of them still do. Uh, black belts plus 100, um, 80 kilograms, etc. So uh, today I'm gonna show you just a little bit of what they did. I did more than 10 rounds, so I'm gonna share like some of the best ipons that I received and some of the best that I made. Uh, I'll leave them towards the end because there are just two gems that I created. So here, the first one is against a plus 100 uh, kilogram judoka, uh, 104 to be exact. Once they grip you, you know you're in trouble. That's, that's this is insane. Here, I was trying to put my arm, trying to lift my leg for uh, to avoid it, but there's just nothing can be done. It's insane. But this is the like the flavor of judo that I wanted to to taste, not the you know French, you know really deep down in the back type of uh, judo. And look, the moment he gets his grips, you just feel like you're in trouble and. Like everything works together. He goes in with his entire body for Osoto. And here I tried to go for a few attacks myself, but it's, there's just nothing there. Like they make you look like a white belt. Um, but again, I fought till the end and I did produce a few things. So here I tried to go for like a Kanto style Juji Gatame, but again, nothing. Like kind of like Van der Geest looked like a white belt against Inoue. And here is the same. Like, this one is by far the worst. This one, like, I got absolutely murdered. Check it out. So the moment he gets a sleeve lapel, boom, sent me flying. He sent me into oblivion. Like, you just, like, your whole body reacts by bending over and becoming rigid once they grip you. Their gripping is just something else. Like, you have to do randori to, to feel it. And here I was like, wow, what the hell just happened? This is what I was thinking, like, and I couldn't help but laugh, but like, what, what is happening here? Like, this is, like, I want to learn from them. And they gave me a lot of pointers afterwards, of course, but I was just amazed. This is a judo that I wanted. Look, check this out. The, like, the way he feels his rhythm, the, the way he makes me react, everything. The guy is not big at all, but look what he can do to me just easily. So... This is what every judoka dreams of becoming, this type of judo. And finally, uh, there's another fight that I really loved. I'll share it with you here. I was just in awe. I cannot believe it. This one, 140 kilogram. Every judoka's dream to fight a guy like this and actually try to do something. And again, I'll leave my uh, scores till the end so I can you know, share my thoughts about them. But again... Uh, I was fighting like hell. This is what I really am proud of that I fought relentlessly. So here he gives me some momentum. I pull for Kata. Guruma sees it like bright as day and just gets on top of me, crushes me actually. Um, this, this session was really eye opening that I have so much to learn and this was the first time that I've tasted the flavor of judo that, that I always wanted. It's something completely different in Kodokan and here as well. So we continue fighting. Um, again, look at the size difference. Like the man is huge. He just effortlessly throws me the moment he gets his grips. He just feeds his leg in and pushes down the lapel hand. It's kind of like when you fight a kid and you're not really using strength, but to them it's like, the entire strength of the world is being put on them. It's the same. So here, uh, Ochigari, Tomonage, combo, absolutely nothing. Again, just... But here I managed to avoid a full score, but still, like, the the moment he just grips on your neck level, it's just, you know it's over. You just know it's over, and you look like it's your first time doing judo. I absolutely loved this session. I had so much uh, to learn, and... I'm very much looking forward to it, but I did not, uh, I was far from giving up. So here I keep on fighting, my belt uh, comes loose, I try to shoot, again, they, they make you look like you've never done judo in your life, so my belt comes undone, we keep on fighting Fabio Basile style Kataguruma, 
Ochigaishi, and here, BAM! I caught him! I, I couldn't believe it, it was like a Hail Mary shot, but this is what happened, and kept driving with my hands, like 140 kilograms! And here, when I, when I stood up, I noticed many were actually looking at me, and I was like, stay calm, stay calm, stay respectful, you're new here, you're phone. don't say a word, don't even show uh, a reaction, so, but here, look, look at the split, I, I managed to surprise myself and this is the types of fight that we all look for because we never know what we're truly made of and here this one against the first one Ayoko Tomoenage caught him also at the end by surprise he said you really caught me off guard and they really congratulate you and the feeling you get is just absolutely insane to throw these types of guys so listen to the key I made it can be easily heard So, um, this is mainly it. Um, I can't show everything because first the video would get really dragged out. Um, I did, like I said, over 12 rounds and also um, there was a lot of kids in that dojo as you've seen. Um, and I don't want to, I try to hide, you know, kids identities, their name is on their gi, etc. as much as possible. Uh, minors and children's privacy is very important. Um, I tried to, to, you know, cut off as much as I could because sometimes they would pass in front of the camera and I had to, you know, remove it. But at the same time, I wanted to show you. So this is uh, mainly uh, what it's like. Like they just grip you and they said we're not using strength. It's actually the way we position our wrists, etc. It's what creates a lot of pressure. And again, you have to really fight these guys to know what I'm talking about. Uh, like the moment. Your posture is just broken uh, the moment you become rigid without even trying to you know to do anything like you want to stay upright you want to fight but you just can't it's it's something amazing with their hikite and their tsurite and I have a lot to learn at the end of each fight they will tell me like do this don't do that uh, be careful you get injured um, or you're gonna get hurt if you kept you know standing like this or you defended this way they gave you a lot of good pointers so but you know to throw two plus 100 guys is, is is a dream and you know guys that competed all their lives you know japanese black belts it's just something i've never dreamed of and i got it on camera actually and i was very 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 happy especially that coach Gary against the second guy um it's just wow um i know that you know i'm not you know completely you know, uh, I don't want to say bad or like a complete beginner. If I manage to, to catch these guys off guard like this, um, it teaches you a lot about yourself. And I kept fighting till the end. I kept looking for that attack. But um, the, the middle one, the, the one that's shorter than me and, you know, maybe I think 80 kilograms. I'm not sure. But like he's, he just destroyed me and always smiling and laughing as he is destroying you. It's, it's insane. Like... When I'm older, I want my judo to be like this. Um, in France, I got beaten a lot, but in France, a lot of them like look like bodybuilders and they somewhat like bully you into the ippon. Uh, they're just they have their hand down their, your back and just like yanking you and pulling you, and and then they eventually throw you. At, here, it's just different. Even like the big guys you saw, they just grip and they just throw. Um, again, obviously their their weight was playing a big role in you know, strength and uh, velocity, but um, this was just an amazing experience. And, you know, uh, this is like, I went flying, like, as you've seen, and uh, we all lose. There's no shame in losing. We all, there's no shame in taking a throw. There's no shame in tapping. Um, it just means that you have a lot more to, to learn. And this is the good news, actually. And, you know, Elio Gracie took a nap, Elio Gracie got thrown, Kimura took a nap, Kimura got thrown by Abe, he said, I felt I was fighting a shadow, he couldn't catch him, so we all lose, um, but it, what's important is to learn, you know, I'm saying very cliche things, but, you know, nonetheless, uh, it should be remembered always, so, um, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below, um, and, ah, uh, one more thing, I didn't want to be the guy that's, um, all talk and no show. I wanted to show my technique also, so it was a good opportunity for me to actually show you what I can do and also give you some entertainment by showing you some judo and some fun randori. So, 
consider supporting me on Patreon. I have exclusive content for the patrons only and also thank you for your support. In the last video, your comments have been amazing. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.